When you think of the words hot hatch, what do you think about? The Volkswagen GTI, the Focus RS, the Mazda Speed 3, the Chevy Sonic? Yes, the turbocharged 1.4 liter Chevy Sonic. This thing is freaking weird, but ZZ Performance took it upon themselves to make the Sonic a true tuner platform. This one here makes almost 300 wheel horsepower in this tiny little thing. And honestly, this thing was incredibly surprising after not knowing what to expect. So what's it like driving a 300 horsepower little Chevy Sonic? Let's go for a drive and find out. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a ZZ Performance Chevy Sonic. Now, this is the 1.4 liter four cylinder turbo with a Z04 turbo upgrade. So, basically, in a nutshell, it's a big turbo Chevy Sonic <laughs> that makes almost 300 horsepower. It's like 292 to the wheels. Let's just round up and say 300 because it sounds cooler. Plus, it's basically there. Also, question for you guys, what other four cylinder turbo car in the world do you think didn't get a proper chance in the aftermarket? I think that's a fun topic, so let me know in the comment section below. The Chevy Sonic has always been kind of a conundrum to me. To me, Chevy kind of gave the impression that they wanted this to be like a hot hatch tuner car, but then they kind of just gave up. <laughs> Unless you were ZZP, who has done an amazing job giving support to this thing. This was in Transformers as a rally car. And they had this cool like WRC wide body on it. And Chevy really made it out to be like this fun little hot hatch. But then I guess it just didn't take off as much as they thought. The aftermarket for this is extremely limited. Basically ZZ Performance does all the motor mods, colder intakes, stuff like that, suspension. All of that good stuff is all from ZZP when it comes to the functionality of this car. It also has the beautiful rotiform wheels. I'm an absolute sucker for rotiforms. Also, I love the wrap on this car. I love the kind of synth wave purples and teals on it. It's a really cool look. This has the full interior. The steering wheel is very much like the Camaro from the first gen Camaro. Uh, when I say first gen, I mean the one from the 2010s. The dashboard is surprisingly cool. It has this digital gauge that, look, it's not amazing, but it's not TI-84 calculator, right? But I kind of like the blue lighting it gives off. And the tachometer, Next to the RS symbol is like, hey, this is a fun car to drive. Look at the tachometer. And the steering wheel has a nice grip to it. It's not too much of a Lego hand. We also have our AFR gauge, boost gauge, all that from ZZP that really helps out. This thing, okay, that was a roll on from third and I was legitimately surprised. So I'm actually really excited to get on this car. But let's talk like livability, the Sonic, doesn't have a lot of space. The back seat is extremely tiny. A lot of people get the Chevy Spark and the Chevy Sonic confused for good reason. I mean, they're this different looking. And the Spark went on to be a notorious rental car. By notorious, I mean not good. <laughs> this has a manual transmission. That's amazing. This has the six speed transmission. The 1.4 liter is actually very stout. This is also on E85 to get those horsepower numbers. Lately, I've been driving cars from the two liter Egotex. This is the 1.4. Oh my God. Okay, I really did not expect that from this car at all. <laughs> also, the Sonic has this massive grill. I mean, it takes up the entire front of the car, but then the headlights are like, really angry and cool looking. It's just this weird paradox, like this little economy car, but then it has a turbocharger on it, but then it has angry face. What the f Traction control is off. incredibly impressive 
impressive. The ZZP guys were like, hunt for the rev limiter. Have fun, just go for it and let the car eat. Just let it do it. And that's what makes this thing so fun. So this thing's front wheel drive, but it's one of those cars that the front wheel drive makes it fun. It doesn't have crazy torque steer. It doesn't have any of that scary drama from a fast front wheel drive car. It tracks dead straight, but that's also probably from a fantastic alignment and everything else. But the shifter is surprisingly nice. I like how it feels. It feels a lot like the Cobalt SS. It shifts into place. I know exactly when I'm in gear. I know exactly when to go to the next gear. And this is just so weird. But the E85, you can tell, is so helpful with this engine. It just runs so smooth. Oh my God. <laughs> but you know, this is still a victim of an entire hard plastic interior. This is one of the most unexpected times I've ever had in a car, for sure. It's definitely up there. So you're working it in a very particular way, getting it around the corner, because you're modulating throttle while also steering another direction to fight a little bit of torque steer. Ah, it's so weird. The one advantage of this car as well is that you can get on it pretty much all the time and you're not bothering everybody. You are the one having fun. <laughs> and everyone else is like, there's no way it was that little hot hat, that little thing, that little Chevy thing. There's no way. So it kind of adds this little sleeper status to it. I think we're getting to the time where cars as a hobby is just so expensive right now. And what I kind of like about ZZP's philosophy is one of their sayings is go fast but not broke because they take platforms that are overall, even in the used market, <laughs> affordable. They're really fun to drive. Like this car is really fun to drive. It doesn't feel like one of those things where, oh yeah, they say it makes 300 and, and not really, it doesn't really feel like it. This makes every bit of 300 horsepower. If you're watching this from Grand Rapids, Michigan, I just saw like 50 mopeds in a row, like a squad. Seats are a little big, look a little big, but they're comfy. Not the most bolstered in the world, but they're comfy. That is so cool. <laughs> it's really fun to floor it, right? Because you get the rev limiter and the spinning and the drama, but it's almost more fun just driving it around town <laughs> because it has this character, this personality that's hard to find in a lot of cars today. That's hard to find in this charming little hot hatch. It was always weird how on the door, the door handles are like all the way up top next to the window. I always thought that was interesting. So the same company that took the Chevy Cobalt SS and made it fast, the same company that put an extra wheel on a Polaris slingshot and turbocharged it. <laughs> and the same company that made the Chevy Sonic have character. What a portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. I love aftermarket companies who do these really weird and niche ideas and ZZP is never scared of the challenge. I, that's why I admire them is they've been around a while but they've always kind of stepped up to the plate to do these very weird platforms. They have the world's fastest GTP, a Pontiac Grand Prix. And then they take this little 1.4 liter and go, we can work with that. We can make it work. <laughs> Insane. A 40 roll is the most fun in this car. That is the most fun in this car. God, you can't resist 
driving this car fast. It's so usable. I can just be an idiot everywhere. It's amazing. <laughs> like, this is why big horsepower is not always the answer, people. This is why driving experience always wins. Can big horsepower cars be fun? Of course they can. But do they break a lot? And is there a lot to keep up with? And are they terrifying sometimes? Yes, you could drive this every day and just be smiling. That's what's awesome about it. Oh, I have like a armrest. Did just notice that. Big turbo, Chevy Sonic, ZZ Performance. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you think the car didn't deserve the chance? Do you think it's kind of neat to see ZZP take this car and make it better? Let me know in the comment section below. And on that note, I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And I will see you guys next time. And take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.